And what's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, powerful, sexy, handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. The Scorpio, this is going to be a twin flame reading while already shuffled. Meditate it over your cards. Please remember if something does resonate with you to like, share, and subscribe. And Scorpio, before we get started, I'm going to say thank you to all my new subscribers, all my new viewers, people that have viewed, like, share, and subscribed my videos. I just want to take time and say thank you, guys. This is also going to be a two-part video. I'm going to tell you that now, Scorpio, because with this one phone that came out, we got to see what these confessions are, okay? So I feel like for some of you guys, your twin... Could be one to come in and finally open up and tell you they confessions, okay? This person's willing to confess everything, Scorpio. This person want to tell you what happened in this connection, why they ghosted you, what was going on. So, your twin could come in with these confessions. And I feel like, Scorpio, <clears throat> either these confessions that your twin is going to have to tell you, I feel like you're going to be in the energy of, like, I shed enough tears over this person. Like, I'm not going to cry no matter how effed up. You know, these confessions are, or I feel like, Scorpio, some of you, it's like the, whatever confession your twin has to tell you, like, you telling yourself you're not going to cry, but it could be some effed up information that you're going to receive, okay? So, let's pull up for this running chaser, and then, in part two, we'll probably um, clarify the confessions, if I don't get through it in this video, okay? So, what messages do you have, my Scorpio spirit? Okay, the first card we have here is, I'm not ready for this relationship. So, for some of you, the confession that your twin has to let you know that possibly when they were acting or, you know, doing the things that they were doing, it was because this person was not ready for a commitment. This person was not ready for this relationship, okay? You could have been more open to it, you know, but this person, they could have, I feel like your twin had to heal from some things, but they were not ready for this relationship and the things and the changes and the things that they were going to have to do, Okay. I'm tired of the arguments. Everything was triggering me. So for some of you, this person could have been dealing with somebody else. And in that connection, all they did was argue. I feel like in this connection, possibly, you know, you were questioning your twin about the things that they were doing. And instead of this person just telling you the truth, you know, this person either chose to avoid those questions or they just didn't answer them at all. And, of course, that's going to lead to an argument because, hey, Scorpio, we're not going to ask no questions and you can't give us no doggone answer, right? So, I feel like, you know, you guys possibly could have did a lot of arguing because this person wants to tell you the truth. Then we have, I'm starting to understand this twin flame journey with you, okay? So, I feel like this divine masculine, divine feminine, takes the energy how it resonates. It's starting to go, like, through some awakening. Or I feel like this person is, is starting, is not fighting. Because I feel like this is like a stubborn energy that you guys could have been dealing with, okay? I feel like their spirit guys, their ancestors are trying to give them signs and enlighten them to who you were to them. But they were just too blind to see it. They just didn't want to see it. Let's get one more card right here, then we're going to pull some messages from the Awakened Soul. I want to block my Twin Flames phone number, but what if they call? So this is the, the chaser energy, okay? I'm sorry, the runner is in the red and the chaser is in the yellow. So I feel like there were many times throughout this journey, Scorpio, where we blocked and unblocked our twin, okay? We would block them and then the next day we'd be like, well, what if they send a message and I don't get it? So let me unblock them, you know what I'm saying? You block them from social media, your phone, whatever it was. But it was like you blocked and unblocked this person. So let's clarify, I'm um, starting to understand this twin flame journey. Let's see what messages your twin wants to say from their awakened soul. We're not going to pull from their, we know they sleep. They will sleep on this whole connection. We're going to see now that they're awake. Now that they understand this twin flame journey, how are they reflecting on this, okay? All right, so what messages do you have my Scorpio spirit that's on this twin flame journey? What messages do you have my Scorpio spirit that's on this twin flame journey? Okay, I know I have to tell my truth. Okay, so here we go. Here we go, Scorpio. I thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. We have confession. So your twin know that they have to tell you the truth. Okay, so this your twin is going to confess to you, Scorpio. Now, I can't tell you when, but just know your twin is going to confess and tell you everything. And they want to do it face to face, okay? So some of you guys, your twin could possibly want to come to your house, okay? This person may hit you up and ask, you know, can we talk or something like that. But I feel like whatever your twin has to say to you, they feel like, it's better for them to tell you face to face than through like, you know, over the phone or through messenger or something like that. What messages do you have, my Scorpios, from their awakened twin? 
okay? And your twin wants to know, Scorpio, do you still want them? I feel like this is the biggest issue that your twin has. I feel like for some of you guys, your twin has been willing to come in and confess some things, tell you their truth, all that, but this person does not know if you still want them. So I feel like this is for the twins that's in separation, that you're no longer talking to your twin, you ain't having sex with your twin, you don't see your twin, none of that. And I feel like your twin is not sure. Like, they're like, well, what if I confess uh, this is Scorpio and they don't even want me no more? Like, they'll be a waste of my time. So I feel like your twin is, like, going back and forth trying to figure out should they tell you the truth or should they not. And then we have, I understand why you had to set boundaries. Okay, come through then, spirit. So remember I just said, you know, for some of you guys that's in separation, your twin is not even sure that if you, you know, if you still want them. But I feel like you did the right thing, Scorpio. You set boundaries. You no longer made yourself available for this person, okay? You set your boundaries. You was like, uh-uh, until you learn how to treat me, until you learn how to love me the right way, then I'm going to have to just let you go, bro, assist you know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what you did. So let's pull up some tarot here. Let's see what's going on in this connection. And then we'll go back to um, the confessions. Because I ain't got much time left. So I want to make sure we get these confessions out. So let's see what's going on in this connection. And then we'll do part two. And we'll see what your twin wants to confess. Okay? So what messages do you have for my Scorpios today? Career? We're going to pull up some tarot here. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords, okay? So, Scorpio, your your twin could have been dealing with this karmic because any, any queen that's going to be in reverse, to me, that's a karmic, okay? So, your twin was dealing with someone who was very cold. They didn't care about your twin's feelings. And I feel like whomever your twin was dealing with, it was like this person was suffering and they wanted your twin to suffer and everyone around your twin to suffer as well. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, if this was the energy that your twin was dealing with, this is why they projected that energy onto you because they were dealing with someone who was very cold. They were dealing with someone who didn't care about their feelings, so they didn't care about yours. Then we have the Ace of Wands, okay? So this talks about no longer interested or attracted. So you remember we had here, do you still want me? So I feel like for some of you Scorpios, you're no longer interested and attracted, okay? Because so Ace of Wands talks about like passion, okay? So I feel like this could have been a very passionate relationship or connection, but I feel like your twin, they kept, they didn't keep their promises, okay? It was like they talked a good game, but this person didn't follow through on nothing that they said. And I feel like that's why some of you are no longer, you like, uh-uh, just give me some new love spirit. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for somebody new. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to end that there, and then we're going to start back part two with the confessions part, okay? If something here resonated, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.